Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. It is time to update the Team Project Pan. If you are new to my channel, I'm so glad that you are here. And if you are wondering what the Team Project Pan is, that's a hashtag started by Kat and Haley. I always link them down below and they invite anybody who's doing this sort of rolling full face style of Project Pan to use the hashtag so we can all find each other because a lot of us like to binge watch these types of videos. I don't know why, it's very satisfying. <laughs> hair in my mouth <laughs> to watch people use up makeup. So anyway, feel free to use the hashtag to find others doing this type of project. And while I do do other panning projects on my channel, I would consider this my main project pan. This is where I put items that are getting old in my collection that I want to use up or just products that I want to use. Sometimes I will do that as well. So I'm very excited about today's update. I do have some empties that I'm but before I tell you about them, I have to tell you about my tea of the day because I think it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> uh, this one came in my um, Sip Spy box. It's called Orchid Oolong, and it's from Art of Tea. I love it when Sip Spy sends me oolongs. They're my favorite types of teas to try. And this one is on the floral end. It's absolutely delicious. It's very, very good. Like the buttery floral that you get with a good green oolong. It has a nice kind of thick body to it, which, you know, it's, just, it's still tea, so it's not thick like milk is, but there's something about um, a green oolong that definitely has more body to it. You can tell it just how it feels, <laughs> I guess. I'm trying to avoid using the word mouthfeel because I know some people really hate that word, but let's get into my update. I like to always start with my empties. So, I have been working through lip oils as like my bedtime lip treatment and I finished this one. So this one I got in like a random um, subscription box. This one's from Trust Fund Beauty. This was the Better Than Therapy lip oil and it looks like it's quite large but when you look at the actual interior of the tube, I don't know if you guys can see that, the actual product was in a very small portion of this plastic packaging. There was only three mils, I believe, of product in here. Yeah, three mils. So I went through this really quickly. I liked this. It was fine. Not necessarily something I'm going to seek out again, however. And you guys, I finished the lip gloss I've been working on. <laughs> I've been working on this for a solid straight four months. I finished this right here at the end of April when I'm filming. I have been scraping the sides and I am now happy to say this is finally done. When I say finally, I'm, it's not like I didn't enjoy this. I actually really liked this gloss. This was from Essence. This is the shade Happiness in a Bottle. It's a shade I absolutely adore. It's just it was getting old. It was time. I had to use it up and I was starting to like get antsy that it was going to go rancid on me before I could finish it. But a solid four months of wearing this every single day and that is gone. I'm so happy to have two lip product empties. Lip products is my number one um, empty goal <laughs> and I don't care what kind that I use up, I just wanna use them up out of my collection. It's because they're one of my favorite things to try. When I'm in the mood to try makeup, I love to buy a new lip gloss. So I tend to get a lot of them. So I'm really, really happy to have two uh, lip empties. And no surprise, I also finished off this like deluxe sample of the Hemp's original uh, body moisturizer. I like these quite a bit. I wouldn't mind getting a full size. I think it was really good. So at the end of the video, I will roll in new products to replace the ones I finished up. But now let's talk about all the products that I have been working on that aren't quite finished. So this one is almost an empty. This is my sunscreen from Canmake. This is the Mermaid Skin Gel UV SPF 50. And I put the mark way down here because like I can tell it's mostly air. In fact, I feel like if I had put this video off just a couple more days, this would be an empty, but that's okay. This will be an empty for next month. The primer I've been working on, I'm gonna have to weigh this. Weigh this. I haven't weighed it yet. <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. If there's any change, it's going to be minuscule. As I keep telling you guys, and I know you can't see, um, I use just this tiniest little bit of this on my nose and around my nose before I put on foundation. So it's gonna take a really, really long time to go through this product. I'm hoping there's at least a little bit of a change, a couple grams, that would be nice. My Misha BB cream is going along swimmingly. I use this pretty much every day. I have been trying out samples of different foundations, but other than that, this is my daily foundation. It is the one I'm wearing today. I like using this so much. I love using this one. It's gonna still be in the project for a while. There's still a lot of product in there. So I expect this to take the majority of the year, honestly. This tiny little brow product is 
still kicking. Although I think it's finally, finally starting to dry up. I have been scraping the sides to try and get as much product as I can out of there. This is a sample of the Anastasia brow gel and I can tell it's finally starting to wind down. So maybe, hopefully, this can be an empty next time. The setting spray I'm working on is the one from Item Beauty. Again, I have been loving this one so much. I find, however, I can't use very much of it because it is very dewy. A couple spritz of this and I'm I'm dewy. It's not one that I can just go ham with, you know? So I think that's why my uh, marking, again, is not very much. I would love to be making more progress on this because I have a number of setting sprays that I would like to get out of my collection. But, you know, at this point, that's what it's going to be. And I'm just happy to see consistent progress. So last time I rolled in a new highlighter, I decided to roll in like one of my newest, I think my newest highlighter. <laughs> and it was from Merit. And I have been loving wearing this. I am wearing it today. It is just absolutely lovely. I'll put up a picture of how it looked last time and check out the difference. So I have been wearing off the domed top. It's actually kind of, it's actually completely flat on top now. And I'm really happy with that progress. This is one of the products where I actually wouldn't go right in and put it on my face. It kind of needs to melt a little bit first. So I always go in with my finger and that's kind of why I feel like it's been wearing off so completely flat like that. But that actually makes it really nice for taking progress photos. So I'm not complaining. I have been wearing this almost every day. Occasionally I'll wear something else, but almost every day I've been wearing this and loving it. The concealer I've been working on is this one from e.l.f. This is the Flawless Brightening Concealer and it's the one where it clicks on the bottom and pushes the product up. So which uh, each marking goes up like this. So anyway, this is the latest marking. Look how close I am to being done with this. I still am not positive it will be next month, but at least within the next month or two, I think this will be gone. The lip liner that I have been working on, this is a discontinued shade from Essence. I feel like I'm st finally starting to see proper progress on this. The progress on it from month to month is still slow, but finally after four months is starting to look like actual progress. So this is my marking. <laughs> so it was up here where I, when I started at the beginning of January. Now I'm down to there. So I'm quite pleased with that progress taking forever, an absolute eternity, which I knew it would, but it's still taking longer than I thought it would. It will probably be in for the rest of the year. <laughs> I'm just hopeful I can finish it off before the end of the year. Even that might be pushing it at the rate I'm going. Okay, products I'm going to roll in to replace my empties. So for my everyday lip gloss, I'm gonna roll in this one from ColourPop. The writing has been mostly worn off, <laughs> but this is one of the Lux lip glosses. Um, this is the shade Come Through, and it is a really, really pretty, sheer, um, kind of sparkly lip gloss. And I remember when I got this, and I realized how much I enjoyed this shade, and it unfortunately sent me kind of on a tangent of finding other lip glosses like it. And I have a lot from 2020 <laughs> in this shade. Like, I need to use all of them up. They're all getting up there in age. But this is the oldest one. This was the one that started it all. Happily, I do already have some pretty significant usage on this one. I haven't marked it yet. Let's do that. So that's going to be my starting point. So I've already used up half of the gloss, which is so nice. A more sheer lip gloss like this, I find that I reapply more often throughout the day versus a cream lip gloss, like the one I just used up from Essence. Um, I kind of feel like I'm gonna use this one, one up pretty quickly. Uh, less than two months is my guess. I mean, it might surprise me. <laughs> I, sometimes I don't want to give like a timeline to what I think because I'm like, I might be totally wrong, but I'm thinking less than two months. I should finish this up. That would be good. I have a lot of lip glosses, again, from 2020 in like this exact same shade <laughs> that need to be used up. For my nighttime lip treatment, I'm going to roll in this little lip oil from Ciate London. This is the Mango and Lime Burst Nourishing Lip Oil. This isn't a full size. This was a mini that came in uh, probably an Ipsy. I'm so happy to be working through all of these clear lip oils in my collection. It's not necessarily something that I wear on a daily basis. So getting through them by using them as a night treatment is it's making me really happy. <laughs> so that is my starting point. I really thought this would take me a long time. These squeezy tubes can hold a lot of product. Um, but I have been using this for the past few nights and I feel like it's actually going pretty quickly. I don't think, like I really feel like I've used up quite a bit already. I do think it will take me more than a month to finish this off, but again I'm hoping two months. 
that is my hope. For a lotion, body oil type product, I'm going to roll in this one from um, Pink, the Victoria's Secret brand. This is the Honey Oil Nourishing Body Oil. I've been wanting to use this up for a while, but I've been waiting to roll it in until the warmer weather, just because I needed something way more hydrating in winter than just something like this. Oh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a journey to use this up. Uh, it's one of those things where I enjoy the scent of it and I don't mind the texture. It's actually, I feel like it can be quite nice. I'm just marking my starting point there. It's just that I noticed that it does make my skin kind of sticky and that stickiness stays for quite a while. I mean, not like super tacky sticky, but like you notice it if you go to change your clothes, <laughs> like your clothing wants to stick to your arms and legs. But I'm gonna really try and power through this stuff. Like this isn't something that I think is that amazing. I really want it out of my collection. All right, you guys, that was the end of my update. Thank you so much for watching. I am really, really, really happy <laughs> about the progress that I was able to make. It seems like in these year long project pans, progress can seem pretty slow until all of a sudden, boom, you're finishing things off. So again, so happy to finally have finished off that Essence lip gloss. If you're doing a project pan, let me know down below. Have you finished off anything lately that made you just rejoice? Because it was just special <laughs> to have finished it off. Anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.